Rapper Kendrick Lamar Duckworth was born on the 17th day of June 1987 at Compton, in California, USA. He was the first of four children born to his mother, Paula Oliver, and to his father, Kenny Duckworth. Growing up in Compton alongside his sister Kayla and two younger brothers, Lamar was a good kid in a notorious city where drug abuse and gang wars were the norms of the 1900s. However, he had not a single bone of aggression in him and stuttered for the better part of his formative years. He first rose to international stardom with his major debut album, Good Kid, M.A.A.D City, which was issued in 2012. His third album, To Pimp a Butterfly, became his first album to top the US Billboard 200. His fourth album, Damn, earned him wider recognition by winning the Pulitzer Prize for music. Throughout his career, Kendrick has won several accolades, including 12 Grammys and an Academy Award nomination. Kendrick Lamar Education and Career Buildup Lamar attended McNair Elementary School in Compton before proceeding to Vanguard. Learning Center also in Compton for middle school education. While at Vanguard Learning Center, Lamar played basketball and dreamt of making it to the NBA. However, finding basketball in Lamar's to-do list became akin to seeking pins in haystacks after an English teacher named Mr. Inga introduced him to poetry. Thereafter, Lamar danced pen on paper writing narrative poems that metamorphosed into lyrics. He continued to engage his passion for writing even while studying at Centennial High School Compton where his accordance of commensurate priority to academics saw him become a straight-A student. Kendrick Lamar Early Career Life Upon graduating from high school, Lamar flirted with the idea of attending college but he had already become heavily invested in producing mixtapes. Lamar's first mixtape titled Youngest Head Nigga in Charge was released under the stage name K. Dot and went on to be a successful project that did not only make him popular with locals of Compton but fetched him a recording contract with Top Dog Entertainment, TDE, under which he released two other acclaimed mixtapes, Training Day, 2005, and C4, 2009. Upon meeting fellow rappers J-Rock, Absol, and Schoolboy Q, Lamar began performing with them under the name of Black Hippie. By the time Lamar released his fourth mixtape Overly Dedicated, he dropped the K-Dot moniker and began using the shortened version of his name, Kendrick Lamar. In the same year, he exclusively released his first solo album Section.80 on iTunes under Top Dog Entertainment. The record paved Lamar's path to collaborate with already famous names, like Young Jeezy, The Game, Talib Kweli, Busta Rhymes and Lil Wayne. He then caught the attention of Dr. Dre who subsequently took him under his wings and willingly became his music and business mentor. Signed to Dre's record label Aftermath, Lamar released his debut album Good Kid, M.A.A.D City in October 2012 and spawned hit singles Swimming Pools, Drank, Poetic Justice and B.H., Don't Kill My Vibe. In addition to receiving rave reviews, the set debuted on the Billboard 200 before being certified platinum by the RIAA. That was the beginning of Lamar's journey to prominence as he then continued making promotional appearances on Saturday Night Live, Late Night with David Letterman as well as Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. By this time on, Lamar already cemented his name in the world of hip-hop music as a new superstar and solidified himself among famous rappers like Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, and Kanye West as the 2012 hottest MC. In September 2013, Kanye announced that he would be headlining his first solo tour in five years to support his sixth album Yeezus with Lamar accompanying him on tour. The tour began in October, and in the same month Lamar revealed that he would be featured on Eminem's eighth studio album The Marshall Mathers LP 2. On October 15, 2013, Lamar won five awards at the Bet Hip Hop Awards, including Album of the Year and Lyricist of the Year. In the next year, Lamar received a total of seven Grammy nominations at the 56th Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist, Album of the Year and Best Rap Song, but he walked away empty-handed. However, in 2015, he won Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song for his single I at the 57th Grammy Awards. On March 16, 2015, Lamar released his new album To Pimp a Butterfly which debuted atop Billboard 200 chart, selling 324,000 copies in its first week and breaking Spotify's global first day streaming record, 9.6 million. The album features top artists such as Snoop Dogg and Pharrell Williams. Lamar was later featured on Rolling Stone cover, with editor Josh Eels writing that Lamar is arguably the most talented rapper of his generation. In May 2015, Lamar was featured on the official remix of Taylor Swift's single Bad Blood. The track reached number one on Billboard Hot 100. Lamar then won five Grammys at the 58th ceremony in the next year, including Best Rap Album 4 to Pimp a Butterfly.
Other nominations included Album of the Year and Song of the Year. In March 2016, Lamar released Untitled Unmastered, a compilation of unfinished demos for To Pimp a Butterfly. The release vaulted to the top of the Billboard 200. In March 2017, Lamar released a promotional single The Heart Part 4 off the upcoming album Damn. He then released the album's lead single titled Humble along with its music video on March 30th. Humble debuted at number 2 on Billboard Hot 100 and Canadian Hot 100. Prior to releasing the album on April 14th, Lamar shared the project's cover art and track list. Damn. Received rave reviews soon after it was released, with Rolling Stone describing it as the old school and the next level. The 14-track effort debuted at number 1 on Billboard 200 chart, marking his third album to debut atop the chart following To Pimp a Butterfly and Untitled Unmastered. By the end of 2017, Damn! Sold more than 2 million copies in the US, becoming the third highest-selling album of the year. It was also certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. Thanks to the success of the album, Lamar was able to receive many awards. For instance, he was dubbed one of the biggest winners at the 2018 Grammy Awards, which took place at Madison Square Garden in New York City on January 2018. Lamar brought home five awards, including Best Rap Album, Best Music Video and Best Rap Slash Sung Performance. Welcoming the New Year Lamar announced his involvement in Marvel film Black Panther, producing the soundtrack album to the superhero flick along with Anthony Top Dog Tiffith. This marked the rapper's first time getting involved in a major motion picture. The lead track off the album, All the Stars featuring SZA, was released on January 4. The music video treatment for the track made its way out on February 6. It was directed by Dave Myers and the Little Homies. Unfortunately for Lamar, he was accused of copyright infringement by British Liberian artist Lena Iris Victor. The artist claims that his work was used without the permission of he in the All the Stars music video. However, Victor says that they are open to discussions to resolve all of his complaints, including at least a public apology for unauthorized use and license fees. The legal issue didn't stop Lamar from releasing the album, though. After unveiling the second single King's Dead and third single Pray For Me, Kendrick finally released the soundtrack album on February 9. The effort is expected to debut atop Billboard 200 chart. After the Black Panther soundtrack, Lamar has not released music of his own in four years, as of 2021. In July 2018, Lamar made his acting debut in the fifth season of the Star's drama series Power, portraying a Dominican drug addict named Laces. Lamar wanted to portray a character that did not resemble his musical persona, and drew inspiration from various people he knew when growing up in Compton. He also compared his acting preparation to his songwriter, saying that he prefers to always have that open space to evolve. Lamar's performance was praised by critics and viewers. Kendrick Lamar Love Life Analysis of the rapper's dating history reveals that he has only been with one woman Whitney Alfred who he met during his high school days. The lovebirds who never lost contact amidst Lamar's long walk to musical breakthrough got engaged in April 2015 and have a daughter together in July 2019. It wouldn't be long before the duo get married as they already have a child to cement their relationship. Net Worth Kendrick Lamar is one of the most successful rappers, who has accumulated a net worth of $75 million. He is one of the wealthiest and highest paid rappers in the world, the rapper has assets that scream luxury around him including a $4.2 million house in Compton, California. The mansion has climbing trees, a flowing pool as well as other relaxing features. It also has enough parking space for Lamar's car collection which boasts of rides like Ferrari, Range Rover, and Chevrolet.